Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. When our standpoint is different, our perceptions are different. And without changing our standpoint, when we want to understand, we get lost in confusion. For example, <clears throat> when the Lord is telling, Maya tatamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina masthani sarva bhutani nachaham teshvavastitaha so, Lord is talking from the absolute standpoint. And we are lost in the relative existence. And as we are lost in the relative existence, we will never be able to appreciate, understand and accept the standpoint of the Lord which is from the absolute standpoint. And therefore, the teacher has to struggle a lot and try to uh, bring to our notice what will be the understanding for a relative standpoint about the absolute. This struggle is called as the scriptures. This struggle is called as the lecture given by the teacher. And therefore, when we have to go this way, so what is the strength by which we can go? So the first and the last strength is the Shraddha Dhana. The one who has uncompromising faith in the scriptures, in the teacher, in the Lord and in himself. He alone will be able to jump into the darkness. Because as on now, for the relative existence, the absolute is only in darkness. So when we want to venture into the area which is unknown, what is that force, that strength, which can propel us into it, is this blind faith. There is one organization in Pune, Andhashraddha Nirmulan, and they themselves are unable to understand Shraddha is always blind. Where there is knowledge, Shraddha is not required. Where there is ignorance, there alone Shraddha works. Like you know, I have Shraddha that you are listening. Because <laughs> I don't know. And with this Shraddha only I can go on talking. Suppose I know that you are not listening to me. Do you think I will talk? No. So in the area of ignorance, it is the Shraddha alone works. Therefore, after having given this point, that uh, I am going to tell you the supreme knowledge. Jnanam vidyana sahitam yajnyatva moksha se ashubhat you will be freed from the relativity. But I don't uh, have faith in what you tell. Then there is no point in your wasting time. So Bhagwan has first attracted the mind of Arjun and then told, Maya tatamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina masthani sarva bhutani nachaham teshvavastitaha When this is said, these two verses, fourth and fifth, they are extreme contradictions of one statement is made and it is immediately contradicted. And we have seen all the uh, angles of this. How the formless is supporting everything which is with the form. How the unchanging supporting everything which is with the changes. How 
द सपोर्ट इज नेवर इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द सपोर्टेड ऑल दीज आस्पेक्ट वी हैव सीन एंड भगवान ऑल्सो गिव एन एग्जाम्पल यथा आकाश स्थित नित्यम वायु सर्वत्र गो महान तथा सर्वाणी भूतानी मस्थानी चुपधारय जस्ट लाइक दिस टेरिबल विंड्स आर सपोर्टेड बाय द स्पेस बट द स्पेस इज अनटच बाय द विंड्स एंड ऑल अदर एलिमेंट्स सिमिलरली ऑल दीज बींग्स एंड थिंग्स भूतानी दे आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन मी बट आई एम नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय देम सो इफ दे आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन यू इट्स ओके देन वेअर डू दे गो वेन देर इज अ डेल्यूज सो भगवान से इज सर्वभूतानी कौंतेय प्रकृति यांति महामिका कल्प क्षय एट द टाइम ऑफ द डेल्यूज दिस होल वर्ल्ड इज अगेन एब्सॉर्ब्ड बिकम्स अनमेनिफेस्ट इन द प्रकृति इन द मूला प्रकृति and again kalpado again when there is a creation everything is brought out and therefore one of the most important principle our scriptures talk that world is never created and it is never destroyed it is a continuous existence therefore never there was a time when there was no world never there will be time when there will be no world therefore is called as the srishti chakra the wheel of creation it is not a straight line a straight line has got a beginning and end but the wheel circumference has no beginning and no end in this manner this process of creation destruction is incessantly going on and in this manner प्रकृति स्वामष्टभ्य विसृजा पुनः पुनः भूत ग्राममीम कृष्ण अवशं प्रकृतिर्वशा इन दिस मैनर दिस होल मैनिफेस्टेशन इज ब्रॉट आउट फ्रॉम द अनमेनिफेस्ट कंडीशन फ्रॉम माय प्रकृति एंड अगेन इट गोज बैक एंड दिस इज हाउ दिस होल थिंग इज गोइंग ऑन अप टू हियर वी आर सीन नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज सेड that if you are responsible for the good and bad in this creation so you also must be getting the sin and the merit so the teacher says no nachamam tani karmani nibadhanti dhananjaya udasina vadasinam asaktam teshu karmasu nachamam isham tani bhuta gramasya visham vishaya visarga nimittani karmani nibadhanti dhananjaya this वर्ल्ड विच इज ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रोरी नेचर विषम विसर्ग एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्रिएशन ऑफ अपोजिट नेचर्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड भूत ग्राम से तानी गर्वाणी माम न निबंधनती दीज एक्टिविटी ऑफ क्रिएशन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन डजन डिस्टर्ब मी वाय उदासीन वदासीनम असक्तम तेषु कर्मसु बिकॉज आई एम उदासीन Now this word udasina is a technical term. Udasina means upekshakaha, kashchit tadvat asinam atmanaha or vikriyatvat. Now udasina means it's not being frustrated, you know, dejected. This is a common word used in the local languages. He is udasin. Something is wrong. So Bhagwan is eternally udasin. so udasina doesn't mean this ut means above ut vai brahmano nam asina seated so in comparison to you who are floored i am udasina and therefore if there is cold or humidity on the floor that will not touch me because i am above them in the same manner the lord says i am far above the creation and the destruction because i am uninfluenced by them ab vikriyatvat like the ocean is far above the birth and the death of the waves waves may be born or die it doesn't touch the ocean although all these births and deaths are taking place in the ocean 
इन द सेम मैनर असक्तम फला संग्रहितम अभिमान वर्जितम अहम करोमी इति तेशु कर्मसु एंड देयर फॉर बीइंग अक्रियत्वाद बीइंग अन मॉडिफाइंग नीदर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन क्रिएशन और डिस्ट्रक्शन नॉर आई हैव द अभिमान दैट आई एम द क्रिएटर एंड देयर फॉर तेशु कर्मसु न निबद्धनंति कर्माणि तानि therefore these karmas do not touch me now what is the purpose of telling this statement atah anyasya api kartrutva abhimana abhavah phala sanga bhavah cha abandha karanam therefore anybody in this world if he is living free from the doership and phala sanga bhavah and without any expectation or attachment to the results of the activity then he is also not bound in this world see how simple it is in the fourth chapter bhagwan has told us a uh, namam karna karmani bandhanti name karma phale spruha iti mam yo bhijanati karma bhirna sabadhyate the karmas do not touch me they do not bind me in this way he who knows he is also not bound means what he and me are not two we are separated from the reality only because of these two things one is the i do notion and second is the expectation about the result of our karma when these two things are given up there is no difference between parmatma and the jivatma see This is the meaning. Here also, anyasya pi kartrutu abhimana abhavaha, phala sanga abhavaha. And these two things happen. Abandhana karanam, you cannot be bound. Anyatha karma bihi badhte mooda, or else the fools function in this world and suffer. See, many times you know this married fellows comes and come and eat our head. I received yesterday in a row about eighteen SMS, not one. Whole letter after letter, cut and cut and I used to read, delete, read, delete, read, delete, and the whole thing was not from India, from outside. And the problem is, some of you, my name is Swain, so and I am very fed up, and I am very tired of these people around me, and I do not know what should I do because you know I am the innocent one, and I am the victim of these people. They are taking advantage of my goodness, and I am suffering a lot, and I am totally confused. Now, who asked you to get married? Did I ask? No. So why are you bothering me? You suffer. as long as the ins remains you will suffer in life therefore karma bihi badhyate mudah kosha karavat kosha kari the silk worm like the silk worm creates a cocoon around itself and in the same cocoon he is killed in the same manner we create a cocoon of thoughts around us those who are depressed people they are like the silk worm and because of depression many of them end their life they commit suicide exactly the example of this koshaka uh, aravat the silk worm it creates the thread around itself and gets buried and dies in the same manner we only start projecting the thoughts of pity self disgust no lack of uh, living in this world and then start feeling that this is actually the truth and all that mood bhagwan glorifies them karma bhi badhyate mood ha kosha aakar kosha karavat iti abhipraya ha त्र भूतग्राम इवं विसृजा उदासीन वासीनम विरुद्ध मुच्यते सर यू आर ऑलवेज टॉकिंग द लैंग्वेज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन वन स्टेटमेंट यू से 
Bhuta Gramam Imam Visru Jami. I create the whole world. And then you say, I am indifferent to the whole world. So, you are talking probably uh, contradictions. Maybe you do not know what you are talking. Or maybe I don't understand what you are talking. So, Tat Pariharartham Aha. To remove this kind of misunderstanding, Bhagavan says in the tenth verse, Maya Dhyakshena Prakritihi. Suyate Sacharacharam. Suyate Sacharacharam. He tu nane na kaunteya. Jagad vi parivartate. Jagad vi parivartate. Maya sarvataha drushi matra sarupena avikriyatmana. By me. Who is this me? Drushi Matra. Only the witnessing consciousness. Drushi Matra. So, Maya Sarvataha Drushi Matra Sarupena. Therefore, here is one point which is very difficult for the Dvaitis to comprehend. That the witnessing consciousness is only one. Witnesses are not many. Like in the 13th chapter, we will be told. That uh, Kshetrajyam Chapimam Vidhi Sarva Kshetreshu Bharata. Arjun, this body is called as Kshetra, and the one who is knowing the Kshetra is called as Kshetrajna. So we immediately make a point. Per body, one Kshetrajna. The so per body, one soul. Bhagavan says, No, 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 not like that. I alone is functioning through all the bodies. The real Kshetrajna is me. So, Drishi Matra Swarupena. This one witnessing consciousness by him, Maya, by me, Avikriyatmana. And this pure consciousness is not influenced or modified whatsoever. Adhyakshena. So, Maya Adhyakshena, Mama Maya Trigunatmika Avidya Lakshana Prakruti, Suyate Utpadayati Sacharacharam Jagat. So it is only in my presidentship that my prakriti, this Trigunatmika prakriti, sujate, utpadayati, creates the whole world of animate and inanimate existence. So, now here I'll give you an example to make this point clear and then we'll go to the commentary. Please be very attentive in understanding. This, you know, this I explained you a number of times. Again, I am repeating that. The water has got the power, shakti, potentiality to express as ocean and the wave. Step number one. Step number two. In the water, other than water, there is nothing. Therefore, this potentiality of the water to express as wave and the ocean has nothing to work upon. Step number three. Therefore, this potentiality has to express. Then where it will uh, work, it will work only on the water. As a result, what happens? Water starts appearing as ocean and water starts appearing as wave. Now, this potentiality because of which the water appears as ocean and wave, this potentiality, is this potentiality affecting the water? No. Why? The water is never drowned in the ocean and the water is never destroyed because of the waves. So what is this all happening? Nothing has happened. See? This is what Bhagwan is telling here. The absolute reality with its infinite potentiality in that absolute there being nothing, it functions only on that. 
and although it acts on that yet it has no effect and therefore whatever is appearing is just an illusion just like ocean and the waves are illusions on the water because without the water neither the ocean nor the wave can exist in the same manner this absolute existence and he is trigunatmika apara prakriti ashtadha apara prakriti has nothing to act upon so it starts acting upon this existence and when it starts acting upon the existence it creates an illusion what is the illusion existence becomes the attribute and the world becomes the substance again study if you get time the second chapter of panchadashi we say this paper weight is exist the pencil exist the watch exist the book exist how it sounds it sounds as if the paper weight is a substance pencil is a substance the watch is a substance and the book is a substance but it is the other way around substance is the existence so it is the um, inversion of the position existence is supporting the paper weight pencil watch and the book so existence is the reality and these are superimposed but what is our knowledge knowledge is existence we take for granted see therefore it is extremely necessary that we understand it in completeness so how this world is created by the lord maya adhyakshena prakriti suyate sacharacharam so maya sarvatah drushi matra swarupena avikriyatmana adhyakshena maya maya trunatmika avidya lakshana prakriti suyate utpadayati sacharacharam jagat therefore this one supreme reality alone is supporting the whole world and yet never influenced by them tatha cha mantra varnah shweta shastra upanishad tells us eko deva sarva bhuteshu gudah sarva vyapi sarva bhuta antaratma karma adhyaksha bhu sarva bhuta divasah sakshi cheta kevalo nirgunascha in shweta shastra upanishad he said eko devah sarva bhuteshu gudah there is but one conscious reality which is supporting the total world of names and forms and sarvavyapi sarvabhuta antaratma permeating everything and is the essence of everything karma adhyaksha and he alone is the karma adhyaksha in whose presidentship all the karmas are happening so the earth keeps on moving around the sun and around herself the water continues to be liquid the fire continues to be hot bhishasmad vatapavate bhishodeti surya ha bhishasmad agnishchendrascha mrutyur dhavati panchamaiti in his presidentship everything is just happening and sarva bhuta divasah and he is the abode of the total creation and sakshi cheta kevalah nirgunascha and who is this absolute reality sakshi witnessing consciousness cheta kevalah in which the seer seen difference does not exist in the water the ocean wave the uh, difference does not exist from the point of view of the water there is nothing like ocean or the waves kevalah and nirgunascha and there are no attributes sat paradastamas so maya dhyakshena prakriti suyate sacharachara hetuna anena anena hetuna nimittena adhyakshatvena so i being the president he kaunteya jagat sacharacharam vyakta vyaktatmakam viparivartate sarvasu avasthasu so it is only in my presence all the changes are happening in this world now just peep within yourself see everything has been happening in our life from day 
during the waking, the dream and deep sleep. But none of us ever have the experience that either we are born or we are changing or we have changed. No. Our experience is homogeneous, unbroken existence. We don't have to believe. This is our experience. Therefore, in the absolute reality, you don't have to have faith. In God, you have to have faith. Because there is no belief that I am. There is a knowledge that I am. Where there is ignorance, there you require belief and faith. Therefore, He tunani na kaunteja, He kunti putra arjun, sacharajaram vyakta avyaktatpakam. This total gross and the subtle world is constantly uh, changing sarvasu avasthasu under all conditions like waking dream and deep sleep. Drushi karmatva apratipatti nimittahi jagataha sarva pravrutti and Drushi karmatva apratipatti nimittahi jagataha sarva pravrutti the whole world is put into activity only because of this light of consciousness. And aham idam bhokshe, aham idam pashyami, srulomi, sukham anubhavami, dukham anubhavami, tadartham idam karishami, etadartham idam karishe, idam nyasyami. So, I eat, I enjoy, I see, I am hearing, I am suffering, I am enjoying, therefore I will do this, I shall do that, and I know this. All these things, the position of the knower, doer, uh, etc., is also illumined by the pure consciousness. If the pure consciousness is not there, even the waker is not possible, is it not? In the dreamer who suffered, in the dream who suffered was the dreamer. So if the dreamer suffered, now who is that dreamer? He has disappeared along with the dream. But I who illumined the whole dream, including the dream world, dream experience and the dreamer, but I was the same, untouched by. Therefore, ityadi avagati nishtha avagati avasana eva. Therefore, all this world of knowledge, then the knowledge of the world and the knower of the knowledge of the world, all of them are illumined by this one pure consciousness. If you remember our Sadachar, Pramata cha Prameti cha Prameya. Uh, pramita tatha, all these four of them is only because tasya bhasava bhaseta, is only by his light alone, the object of the knowledge, the knowledge of the object, the knower of the object, and the one who is prompting this, everything is because of this one pure consciousness. And therefore, yo asya dhyakshaha parame vyuman taitya brahman ityadayacha mantra etam artham darshayanti. Therefore, also in the Tetra Brahman, the same thing is said. Yaha Adhyakshaha Parame Vyoman. This pure witnessing consciousness is the Adhyaksha. He is the presiding factor in whose presence everything happens. See, presence includes both Sat and Chit. When I say exist, Paperweight exists. So in this knowledge, there is no touch of consciousness involved. But when we say, your presence was very much expected, when you say that your absence was conspicuous, so there, existence and consciousness put together becomes presence. So, maya dhyakshena, by my presence, everything is happening. And this presence is the conscious existence. So, maya dhyakshena. 
तथा च एक देवस्य सर्व अध्यक्ष भूत से चैतन्य मात्र से परमार्थ तथा सर्व भोग भोगान भी संबंधिन अन्य चेतनातर से अभाव भोक्त अन्न से अभाव किम निमित्ता अयम सृष्टि अत्र प्रति प्रश्न वचने अनुपन्ने देर फोर दिस क्वेश्चन विच क्वेश्चन द प्योर कॉन्शियनेस इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय ऑल द एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड द प्रकृति इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय All the things, experiences of this world. Then the question is, who is the experiencer? So, ekasya devasya sarva adhyaksya bhuta chaitanya matrasya paramartha daha sarva bhoga anabhi sambandhi na. So there is no relationship with all these experiences for this absolute consciousness. अन्य चेतंतर चेतनातर से अभाव भोक्त एंड देर इज नो अदर कॉन्शियनेस हु कैन एक्सपीरियंस देर फोर किन निमित्ता यम सृष्टि देन फॉर होम इज दिस होल वर्ल्ड ऑफ जॉय एंड सॉरोज फॉर नो बडी सी द जीवा जीवा इज वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द टाइम डिलीट इट डोंट गिव टू मच इंपॉर्टेंस टू दैट जीवा प्रिंसिपल See how important it is. The electrical energy does not solve the problem of darkness. If you have got electrical current in your uh, wires, nothing happens. If you have got bulb in your pocket, nothing happens. When both of them come together in a particular condition, then the light happens. In that light, everything happens. But that light. Does not get influenced by anything that is happening. If the manifestation of electrical energy as light does not get influenced by anything that is happening in the light, will that pure electrical energy get influenced by that? Then the question is, who was involved in this whole vyapar? Reply will be none. Therefore, in this world. There is no position for I am the enjoyer, I am the sufferer. Be very, very attentive. This ego is formed only when the presence is associated with the past. Presence plus past is called as the ego. Presence plus future is called as the ego. And when the presence is totally free from the effect of the past and the future, that immaculate presence is pure consciousness. How is the relationship of the presence with the past? Only imaginary. See, like you know, you see some movies wherein somebody very much loved with each other got married. and suddenly there was some accident and the memory is gone now he is only looking blank and his beloved he is trying to tell him that i am your honey i am your darling he said for me everybody is a honey and a darling i don't see any difference no no i am someone special you are do you remember we went there where we went and then she will take him there and then that particular situation will be created see so what is that ego ego is presence plus the past therefore that law or the suffering who has experienced that nobody that is why let us not get lost into the jiva suffered no nothing that is why they said ko adha ved ko yah pravoch kut ajada kut iti visrushti ityadi varna mantra bya so who knows about the truth who can say that where from the world has come why this world is created ah 
इट इज जस्ट स्वभाव वस्तु प्रवर्तते जस्ट हैपनिंग दिस थॉट कम्स इन अवर मांडुक्य उपनिषद मांडुक्य कारिका दिस इज द लास्ट थॉट न निरोधो न च उत्पत्ति न बद्धो न च साधक न मुक्त न मुक्षुर्वैतेषा परवार्थता नीदर देर इज क्रिएशन नॉर देर इज डिस्ट्रक्शन नीदर एनीबडी इज बाउंड नॉर एनीबडी इज लिबरेटेड नॉर एनीबडी इज सीकिंग एनीथिंग नॉर एनीबडी इज वॉन्टिंग एनीथिंग जस्ट इट इज हैपनिंग वंस यू गेट दिस एप्सल्यूट स्टैंड पॉइंट From the water standpoint, what will be the experience of water with reference to the ocean and the wave? Nothing is happening. From the point of view of the ocean, also nothing is happening. But from the point of view of the waves, everything is happening. He is coming to kill me, and in this world, simple good people are always tortured, and I am one of them. And the bad people enjoy this world. I am not because I am suffering. Only waves talk this language. Ocean never talks. Therefore, all that is required is change your standpoint, leave the wavelength. <laughs> enter the ocean get out of the ocean and discover that you are the water darshitam cha bhagavata ajnane navartam jnanam tena vayanti jantava therefore bhagwan also told in the 5th chapter na kartrutvam na karmani lokasya sujati prabhu na karma phala sanyogam swabhavastu pravartate god has not created kartrutva abhiman it is not in god's creation so when there is no kartrutva abhiman where is the karma na kartrutvam na karmani where it is and when there is no kartrutva there is no karma where is karma phala sanyoga see when our digestion is upset it is a sin and when our digestion is perfect is it a merit no when our body becomes old it is a sin or a merit nothing swaha vastu prava it is just happening see therefore when you take this absolute view you will see from the absolute standpoint there is no problem to be solved and from the relative standpoint there are nothing but problems you cannot solve एवं मां नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वभाव सर्व जंतु नाम आत्मा संतम इन दिस वे आय हु इज द नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वभाव सर्व जंतु नाम आत्मा हु इज इटर्नली इमैक्युलेट कॉन्शियनेस एवर फ्री एंड सपोर्टिंग the existence of everything and being in this world although i am like this and yet avajananti ma mudha ha avajananti ma mudha ma anushim tanu ma shritam param bhavam jananto मम भूत महेश्वर अवजानती अवज्ञा परिभव कुरती मा मूढ़ा अविवेकन मनुषी मनुष्य संबंधी तनुदेह आश्रित आश्रित मनुष्य देहन व्यवहार तो दूढ़ मूड इज वॉट दो आर इग्नरंट सो माम अवजानती अवज्ञा परिभव कुरती अवजानती मीन्स दे डिस्रिस्पेक्ट माय प्रेजेंस अवज्ञा इज नॉट रिकग्नाइजिंग हु आर दोज हू आर नॉट रिकग्नाइजिंग माम मूढ़ा हा दे आर फूल्स वाय अविवेकिन दे आर नॉट एबल टू सॉर्ट आउट द डिफरेंस बिट्वीन 
the unbroken conscious blissful existence and the relative existence and therefore manushi manushya sambandhinim tanum deham ashritam manushya dehana vyavarantam iti etad and this paramatma is manifesting in the form of bhagwan shri krishna in this manner they are unable to recognize and they take me to be only the devaki putra and param prakrishtam bhavam parmatma tatvam a akasha kalpam akashad api antaratamam ajanantaha mama bhuta maheshwaram bhut sarva bhutana mahantam ishwaram swam atmanam so avajananti mam mudha manushim tanumashtam param bhavam ajananta mama param bhavam param is the pratyak the subtler than the subtlest always remember this param word we are studied in our kathopanishad it has got three meanings param is uh, nearer than the nearest samyak or pratyak param means subtler and param means superior so this absolute reality is nearer than the nearest it is subtler than the subtlest and it is the superior most everything is below that so this supreme self that i am and therefore sarva bhuta naam maheshwaram i am the controller of this total whole universe that ishwaram swam atmanam mam avajananti they do not recognize my presence tata cha tasya mava avajnana bhavanena ahata varakachate and therefore poor miserable fellows they suffer in this world Now be very attentive. What is the import? Import is those who suffer in this world, they have not recognized the divine presence. Therefore, the more miserable we are, the more egoistic we are. The less miserable we are, less egoistic we are, and zero misery level. we are para brahma parmatma see in the deep sleep we are not miserable that time there is no ego that time only the blissful consciousness is therefore all the spiritual practice you discover from this type of verses what is the meaning of spiritual practice or else you get lost in that traditional rut What is the traditional rut? Actually, then you know, put all the makeup and all that, and then sit there with a pose for the camera to shoot. And after some time, call the medical van. Why there is a lock? No, I can't open my padmasana. Or take the mala in the hand and keep on disturbing everybody. Please understand. all spiritual practice is this remain cheerful and happy everything will start getting revealed before you and when we remain cheerful and happy we are nearer to the reality because the parmatma is ananda swarup parmatma is the dukkha swarup dukkha is in actually the misery is neither in parmatma nor in prakriti see panch mahabhutas which have gone into the formation of the body of a master and the panch mahabhutas which have gone into the formation of body of a pig they don't make any difference so neither in the purusha parmatma nor in the prakruti there is misery where is the misery <laughs> misery is in this non existing entity called as the ego the jiva therefore focus attention on this principle so tatha cha tasya mama avajnana bhavanena ahata varaka hate varaka means uh, most pitiable existence pamara there are you know four kinds of human beings pamara vishayi and uh, jignasu mumukshu or siddha 
So the worst kind is this pāmara. Pāmara means they take and die, they take and die, constantly dying. If the little sugar is more in the um, tea, oh, margain. No. If there is no uh, sufficient salt in the vegetable, margain. Expert in dying, temporarily. They don't die permanently. Now, such people who do not recognize the divinity that they are, what happens to them and how they are, why they are like this? Twelfth verse. Mogha sha mogha karmano. Mogha sha mogha karmano. Mogha surim chaiva. Prakritim mohinim shritaha. Prakritim mohinim shritaha. Now such people, those who don't recognize their own divinity or those who do not recognize the divine presence of the Lord, who are they first? Moghasha. Moghasha. Vrutha asha ashisha yeshamti moghasha. They are leading their whole life only in hopes. And all their hopes are hopeless. See? It is something like uh, that story which comes in one of the Sanskrit poem. There was a, what do you call, an insect and goes and lands on that uh, lotus flower. And enjoying that uh, pollens, and it becomes evening, and the lotus closes. Now this fellow doesn't want to get out of it. No, tomorrow again there will be sunrise, again it will open, and then slowly I'll go out. And with that hope, tomorrow there will be sunrise. And there will be opening of the lotus, and then I will go out. Therefore, why struggle now? And in between, what happens? An elephant comes, and he plucks that lotus, and along with that insect inside, eats away everything. So, this vain hope that tomorrow onwards I will start my spiritual practice. It has never come. It is now or never. Therefore, Moghasha, they are leading their life in vain hope. Like, you know, one day I experienced something very good in Rajasthan. Last time I told you probably. We went for a, in a cup of tea in some roadside hotel and he hasn't prepared proper tea. So we said, uh, there is no, no maja ni aya. So that tea fellow, probably jat or whatever, very full of life. He said, Baba ji, maja aata ni lena padata hai. <laughs> See? Highest Vedanta in one second. In this world, Maja atani. <laughs> you have to enjoy. If you are hoping for that, that, you know, now I, my children have to get married, after they get married I will be totally free and then I will start my spiritual practice. What is the spiritual practice? Now, Swamiji, uh, they are married last two years, there is no child and uh, we don't know what to do. So, will you please talk to them? They are your children, why should I talk? No, 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 no. And then the child comes, and then get lost in the grandchild. Paramatma, delete. See? By looking at the child, 
one should remember balakrishna but by watching that useless tv serial where bhagwan krishna's leela is shown we remember our useless child oh my grandson also does like that lagao ek by looking at the world we should remember the lord and here we are by looking at the lord we remember the useless world mogasha therefore vrutha asha ashisho esha amte mogasha and we don't understand one basic principle how much we have given importance to our parents in our life the same way our children will give zero importance to us in their life but we as parents we think that all the time holding on to holding on to them therefore such people who do not recognize the divine scheme and the divinity they are living in this relative world with a vain hope that sometime there will be a time when i will get time i will start study i'll start meditation mogasha mm-hmm. and when they are living with this uh, vain hope then mogha karmana ha the second thing यानी च अग्निहोत्रादीनी तै अनुष्ठीय कर्मा तानि चेषा भगवत परिभवान स्वात्मूत अवज्ञा मोघा निष्फला कर्मा भवती मोघ कर्मा सो ऑल देर एक्टिविटीज आर ऑलसो इन वेन हाउ देर एक्टिविटीज आर वेन लाइक इन वी आर सीन इन द लास्ट चैप्टर भगवान श्री कृष्ण टोल्ड अस that they are living this world with so sincerity with all struggle and tat bhavati alpavendasam and what they are getting they are investing millions and return they are not getting even their principal see how much time energy efforts every person in this world living at the relative existence is putting forward but are they getting in return even if not equal even 1% no so bhagwan says if the same efforts with the same sincerity if you put on this path you will get multi multi uh, many times and therefore mogha karmana ha so they will be doing the agni hotra they will be doing the all yajnas but for what only for glorification of this i i i yoginah karma kurvanti sangam tatva atma shuddha hai karma is have to be done for the purification of the mind but what we do through the karma we become more and more egoistic i have done this thing i have done this thing i shall do this thing and i am giving the charity a check of 101 rupees and a huge camera and everything is there and it must come in the newspaper karodi mal has donated one kaudi this is how mogha karmana ha all their activities instead of purifying their mind all those activities are strengthening their ego mogha karmana ha and mogha jnana ha further what is their jnanam nishphala jnana ha jnanam api tesham nishphalam eva syat moga jnana ha their knowledge is about what the gossip columns about the bollywood one you know useless fellow was running after another useless fellow and then there are some stories spun and then it is all as if and then, and these people with you know, great interest they keep on reading moga jnana what are we going to gain by knowing about what people are doing or what they are not doing it makes no difference whatsoever moga jnana therefore anything which is other than the self is in vain this is the meaning see this word has come three times mogha asha mogha karmana and mogha jnana so all the hopes all the activities and all the knowledge 
if that is taking you away from your own self it is a wastage this is the chart moha jnana nishphala jnana because it doesn't lead you anywhere moha jnana jnanam api tesham nishphalam eva syat how the jnana is nishphalam like you know even talking about the scriptures the upanishad the bhagavad gita with a view to make the people wise but as regard their own life is concerned frustrated depressed dejected wanting this wanting that so all this study of the scriptures is meant only for earning the bread and not for knowing the truth See, long time back, where I had uh, given lectures on Amruta Anubhav in Bombay. That time, this happened. One of my very good friend, he was trained in that manner to be very methodical and systematic in organizing the things. So he said, "Swami Ji, we will like to hear from you, Amruta Anubhav." I said, "Okay, we'll start from next Sunday." and when i went next sunday he has done everything very beautiful methodical meticulously kept a register and name of the participant attendance and the fees so what is this is how we have done i said it's very good now this is the last lecture not the first one is a swami ji why what is wrong is the fees less we can increase that i said yes it is very less then you tell how much to do i said you write per student per lecture 1 million us dollars swami ji you are making fun i said i am not making fun you are making my fun brahma jnana is never sold by taking fees but then how can we manage this thing i said don't think that you are doing anything If Nanishwar Maharaj wants, this will happen. If he doesn't want, this will fail. And be ready for both. And then he said, "Okay, now I will." I said, "Don't take, don't put it in your donation box there." And then it continued for two years. And by the time everything was over, family, I have got the best lesson of my whole life. So what was that knowledge? That when you walk the spiritual path, the Lord takes care. Except when you deliver lecture, you have to take the fees. I said, I am not a tutor, whom you can purchase. No. And when I am a tutor, I will have to talk, which will please you, <laughs> isn't it? In many rich people's houses, the tutors are treated by the children in a very bad manner. He says, "Sir, you sit there and read whatever you like. Don't disturb me. Sit for one hour, and if you don't, I will tell my mom that you are a bad teacher and you'll be chucked off." And he said, "How does it matter for me? I get two hundred, five hundred rupees only for sitting. He enjoys. Therefore, moha jnana. What is the use of that knowledge which we carry as a load on our mind, which is not practice?" मोघज्ञा एंड विचेतसा विगता विवेका चे भवती अभिप्राय एज अ रिजल्ट दे आर टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दे लीड ए लाइफ ऑफ डिस्गस्टिंग इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड किंचते भवती एंड व्हाट आर दे द स्टोरी इज नॉट एड ओवर राक्षसी रक्षसा प्रकृति स्वभाव जस्ट डे टोल द मीनिंग ऑफ राक्षस साक्षर साक्षर इज एजुकेटेड एंड इफ यू रीड इट साक्षर दी अदर वे अराउंड इट बिकम्स राक्षस टू द एजुकेटेड इलिटरेट्स सी राक्षसी प्रकृति थ्रू द एरुडिशन स्कॉलरशिप नॉलेज आर्ग्युमेंट द ट्रूथ इज नेवर रिवील but they feel everything can be known everything can be understood and as a result the truth is kept away so kinchade bhavanti rakshasim rakshasam prakrutim swabhavam asurim asuranam cha prakrutim 
So Rakshasi Prakriti is this, they are educated illiterate, therefore nobody can teach them. And Asurim, Asura means what? Asusu Indriyeshu Ramante Iti Asuraha. Those who are Indriya Ram, those who are getting lost only in the ticklings of their senses. For them there is no other purpose of existence. Only enjoyment and indulgence in the worldly things. So, uh, Asurim, Asuranam cha prakriti, Mohini, Mohakarim, Dehatma Vadini, and the Mohinim prakriti. What is Mohinim prakriti? Dehatma Vadini. Deha alone is the Atma. They live as a body, by the body, for the body, on everybody. Their whole life is lived only body oriented existence. And that is why such people, Dehatma Madhirim Shrita Ashrita, and how is their lifestyle there? See the words used by Bhagavan Shankara. How they live? Chindi, Chindi, Piba, Khada, Paraswam, Apahara, Iti, Vadanashila, Krura Karmana, Bhavanti, Tyarta. So, chindi, chindi, kill him, loot him, eat, drink, and loot things from others. Evam vadanashilaha. This has become the philosophy of their life. So, asurya namati loka, andhena tamasavrata, tante pratyabhi gachanti, yekecha atmahano janaha. Such people who have divorced from the essence that consciousness is and they are so much lost to live their life at the body level they are living in vain because living for ahara nidra bhaya maithunancha for eating for sleeping for security and for procreation this is done in the human beings and animals equally the same. If that alone is done by us, there is a mistake on the part of the Lord and He will correct it in the next life. He will not make the same mistake again. He will tell, I am so sorry, it is not your fault, it is my fault. You know, when somebody asked Jedi Birla, that you are having so many industries and how you are able to manage everything so successfully. So he said, when these young students are studying in the IITs, I go visit and uh, observe them and from that the best one I select, best according to my observation, and then I give them total freedom and put them to work. And if somebody goes wrong, it is not his fault. It is my fault that my choice was wrong. See the greatness. So here Bhagwan is like that. <laughs> he will say, no, 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 Jiva, I am sorry, it is not your fault. No, you should have been put into the pig body. By mistake I have put you in the human body. But I correct, never mind. Therefore wise people always correct their mistakes. Yetu punaha shraddha dhana bhagavad bhakti lakshane moksha marge pravrittaha. Now immediately the contrary picture. This I told you earlier also. To make the point, Bhagavan Sri Krishna always gives the opposite pictures. So that it becomes conspicuous. Like if you write on the blackboard with a charcoal, you can't read. In the same manner on the whiteboard, if you write with a white chalk, you can't read. So we require a contrast to appreciate. So first, the negative picture of the body-oriented people is given. Now, the exact opposite picture of the divinity-oriented people is given in the next verse. Mahatmanas tumam partha Daivim prakruti maashritaham Bhajantyananya manasa Bhajantyananya manasa Jnatva bhutadi mavyayam Jnatva bhutadi mavyayam Bhajanti ananya manasa 
दे डू माय भजन विद अनन्य मानस विद टोटल वननेस हु आर दोज महात्मान महात्मा तो अक्षुद्र चित्ता सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल अक्षुद्र चित्ता क्षुद्र मीन्स वॉट देर इज ए सुभाषित इन संस्कृत अयम निजो परो वेति गणना लघु चेतसा उदार हृदया नाम तो वसुधव कुटुंबक दोज हु आर ऑल द टाइम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज मैन दैट इज युअर दिस इज अवर दैट इज देअर गणना लघु चेतसा इन दिस हू फिट्स इन अवर धुतराष्ट्र अवर धुतराष्ट्र महाराज महामका पांडवाश किम कुरुवत संजय पांडवाज वी आर ऑल्सो कौरवाज दे बिलोंग टू द सेम कुरुवंश दे आर नॉट कम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड बट इट इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ धुतराष्ट्र विच हैज क्रिएटेड अ डिफरेंस so according to him dhritarashtra and his children are the real kauravas pandu his own brother his children they are not kauravas see ganana lagu chetasam they are very kshudra chitta they get lost in all nonsense things so mahatmana hatu akshudra chitta ha those who are not lost in the small little things which are the small little thing living for the body living for one's own contentment living for one own's joy even at the cost of destroying the whole world imposing our views on others having zero tolerance level they are all akshudra chitta ha and akshudra chitta ha those who are no more getting lost into the small little things of life there is one very good book in english very popular in the western world in the name of that book title is uh, don't sweat for small stuff we get lost only in the small things so such mahatmanaha such great people mam ishwaram partha daivim devanam prakrutim आश्रिता सच ग्रेट पीपल दे टेक रेफ्यूज इन द दैवी प्रकृति एंड दिस राक्षसा देवर टेकिंग इन द मोहिनी प्रकृति सी राक्षसी आसुरी मोहिनी प्रकृति फॉर द पीपल हु आर लीडिंग अ निगेटिव लाइफ हु आर वॉन्टिंग टू कंटिन्यू इन द रिलेटिव एक्सिस्टेंस एंड महात्मा and those great masters meaning those who have sought to attain something higher in this human form rather than leading a common life of like the sasmi vimartya pachyate sasmi vajayate puna like the grass we are born and like the grass we will be crushed that is not the purpose of our existence such great mahatmas daivim prakrutim aashritaha what is the daivi prakruti शम दम दया श्रद्धा आदि लक्षण तो देअर लाइफ इज नॉट एक्सट्रोवर्टेड एक्सिस्टेंस बट दे आर शम इज कंट्रोल ओवर द माइंड नॉट बिकमिंग द विक्टीम ऑफ द माइंड एंड दम कंट्रोल ऑफ द सेंसेस नॉट बिकमिंग द स्लेव ऑफ द सेंसेस देन दया द compassion forgiveness acceptance tolerance and they are then shraddha to have shastrasya guru vakyasya satya buddhya avadharana what is said in the scriptures what is told by the guru how that alone is true right although we may not understand but it has to be true shastrasya guru vakyasya satya buddhya avadharana सा श्रद्धा कथिता ये वस्तु उपलभ्य दैट श्रद्धा दे हैव सो दोज हू हैव दीज काइंड ऑफ पॉजिटिव क्रिएटिव एटीट्यूड्स दे आर दैवी प्रकृति माश्रिता सन्त भजती सेवंते दे सर् मी भज सेवायाम सी this bhajada tu has got three meanings one is to serve through the body 
second is to do bhajan of the lord through the speech the mouth and third is to contemplate about the lord by the mind so mam bhajante through their body mind and the speech they serve think and sing my glory such great mahatmas bhajanti ananya manasaha ananya chittaha and this they do not do half heartedly ananya chitta remember in the morning class i told you one of the most important spiritual practices learn to do whatever you do with 100% involvement that is the highest spiritual practice when you are eating food eat all interest every bite must be fully enjoyed then you are in samadhi otherwise reading here and a newspaper pata nahi aaj kis din hai are what happened the food has gone directly into the ear no get yourself involved completely in what you are you do bhajanti ananya manasaha ananya chitta jnatva bhutadim avyayam jnatva knowing me well to be what bhutanam vyadadinam praninam cha adhikaranam recognizing me that i am the origin of the total world of names and forms and yet avyayam yet has never undergone any modification or change in this manner these wise people taking refuge in me with fullness they think of me they serve me they talk about me and in this manner they ultimately come to me how they do this this is said that means it is said bhajanti ananya manasaha so how they do the bhajan so their method of doing the bhajan is told in the 14th verse this we will take in our next class om purnamadaha purnamidam purna aat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम